Welcome to the Apple Graveyard. This is a collection of Apple Macintosh monitors. It starts after the old Apple II, 2E, 2C, 2GS. There's no monitors from that era. This is from early on Mac up until before the iMac, before the clear colored plastic iMac monitors came out. This is no, by no means a complete collection, but there's a fair chunk of Mac CRT monitors and these these ones here on the concrete are the larger sorts. There's the shelf, I'll show you in a moment of the smaller ones. Generally, all use the Apple two row DB15 connector. That's the Apple standard for a long time. It's not exclusively used by Apple for their monitors. For example, this big boy here, not a Trinitron tube, but many of these monitors do have Trinitron tubes in them. Steve Jobs was pretty chummy with Sony, got along well together, and Apple used Sony products, three and a half inch floppy drive. Now here, we have the DB13W3 connector, very industrial, big, robust connector that's used also by Steve Jobs' next computing when he went there, Sun Microsystem computers, IBM workstations. It's also used on this big monitor over here. This is a monochrome monitor. This will be an old one. Apple two page monochrome monitor designed specifically for reading documents. It too uses that big DB13W3 connector despite only needing very few signals being a monochrome monitor. The big pins are for red, green, and blue, and I think green is used for gray in the case of monochrome displays. The plastics are not really very good, as I've said many times before, and as many viewers will know, plastics on old monitors are prone to breaking, and Apple computers are no exception. They might even be worse than typical PC monitors, unfortunately. Some bad marks on the front of that tube there on the bottom right corner. Our monochrome monitor has a fresher phosphor on the side where the image hasn't been beamed onto the surface, to the, elect uh, to the phosphor there, it's a bit fresher and you can see the inner parts darker. That'll be a Trinitron for sure. Apple Vision badging. We can see here on the stand, there's what appears to be an S-Video connector, but that's Apple's desktop bus system used for plugging in keyboards and mice and other things. This was before USB. That's how they did it in the old days. Moving on up. We've got another six Apple computer monitors. These are small ones, 12, 13, 14 inches, some with Trinitron tubes. I think that's the oldest one there. That'll be for a Mac. I didn't mention it before, some do use VGA connectors, but these older monitors are often fixed frequency, which is not VGA, it's Apple's own standard, so they're not much good for anything else but using them on Apple computers, although they did develop multi-sync capability as, as the line grew and got newer and newer and more advanced. None of these monitors actually work properly, they're all given to me over the years and I can't really pass up this stuff, so I give it a home. That is the small tour, the quick tour of the Apple graveyard of monitors. A few moments later. I've seen a few packing jobs with CRTs before, but this one might take the cake. We've got a sedan vehicle with loaded to the brim with Apple monitors. There you can see vintage Apple CRT monitors. Even the boot, even the boot's loaded. So that is a fair mission, but a bloody good effort.